is you'll need to go through and basically remove those span tags. Now you're thinking, oh, oh my, oh my word, this is going to be a really difficult task. But here's a fast trick. What you can do is this. You'll notice the pattern of P class, you know, blah, 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 all that stuff. So if I highlight the span text, right, and I copy it, and I go up here, click on edit, find replace, what I can do is click on find text and paste that here. So it's not going to work. I guess it's a different line, so I'm going to have to do this. Um, yeah, click on edit, click find replace, put that in there, and then just keep that blank. If I click keep that blank, then I remove the second line, which is this, as you can see here. Click on edit, find and replace, do the same thing, keep that empty, replace all. So as you can see here, I pretty much removed all of the text, you know, all of the, I cleaned it out pretty much by just taking one line and then editing, find and replace, putting the code in here and replacing with nothingness. And then as you can see, we have clean code. There you go. Now, just a few other things. Uh, font sizes, heading, okay, page breaks. So, remember Amazon Kindle will just automatically put page breaks into your document. This document, I don't have a table of contents, but you'll just need to put this tag in front of the table of contents. And I don't have images, but if you do have images, it would be wise to use the Moby Pocket Creator. So for simplicity, I'm just going to keep it at that. And another thing if you want to do is if you click on tools, click on markup, cleaner, click on cleanup. I did that earlier and I got seven and then it cleaned that out. So that also helps you clean the, the document here. So once that's done, we're pretty much done. We can close that out. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, I am still kind of confused, you can always go back to Amazon's, if you go to, if you type in Amazon DTP or forums.digitaltextplatform.com, you'll be able to find, you know, more information about Amazon, the, the formats that they accept, you know, are the following, you know, HTML, they also accept HTML that's exported from Microsoft Word for example you you don't really have to go through the process I did unless you you know add images or things like that but it also uses the Moby Pocket Creator Word format EPUB format PDF format and things like that so if you're ever confused you know, about other formats that you can use you can always come back to this here and you can also see sample formatting and get some samples and examples of that too if you want more examples